What is up, people? So, it is Sunday morning, about 7 o'clock in Mexico time. It is cold. It is 48 degrees. I'm not ready for this. I am not. I got the heat on. My hands cold. Freaking A. So, uh, changes since the last event. We got new front and rear end links adjustable. Um, got rid of a bunch of preload in the front. We have RE71R tires. Uh, 245, 45, 17 coming from the federal RSRs. All my competition here runs these tires, so we'll see how much better they are today. Also, we uh, increased camber in the front by almost a full degree, going from about negative two to negative three. Um, it's a lot of camber. I actually probably need to take some out because uh, the spot where my end links connect to the struts, when I hit a bump, they hit the frame of the car. Um, so I'm either going to take some camber out or take a hammer to the frame. So we, we might just take a hammer to the frame. We'll see. But uh, I mean, there's no real bumps out here. It's not a big issue, but plenty more new camber. And we, uh, instead of toe in in the back, we did toe out about 0.6 or 0.7, I believe. And we're at about 0.9 out in the front. Um, one of the guys, now I forget his name, but uh, in the comments from the video of the end links, he was telling me all about his suspension uh, setup and this and that. So I decided to try it. Um, we'll see how it feels. Uh, today should hopefully be hopefully be some redemption from uh, getting my ass gapped last night. If you've seen Monday's video, uh, the flashlight shootout, which was a great time. That was just last night. Didn't sleep too much, but I'm excited. Uh, what else we got here? This event runs to like three in the afternoon. I'm gonna be at work at midnight tonight. So I need to like, and I'm like 110 miles away from home. So I gotta fly home, do some laundry, take a nap, go to work tonight. Anyway, should be a pretty exciting day. This is the second to last event out here for the SCCA in Amarillo. We got one more event two weeks from today. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be out here. We're gonna send it. Uh, my boy Victor will be here with his all track today. It's a Boss 500 UM Flex 485 um, All Track, the 1.8 thing freaking flies. So we'll see how the the dad wagon handles on the track today. I should be able to get some some seat time in there with him. This will be his first autocross ever, so I'll be in there with him, and then I'll get him some rides with me. So we'll have camera guy today. Thank God. So anyway, you can go help set up cones here and uh, get teched in. All right, so help set up the course. Um, looks, I mean, I'll throw it up if I didn't already. It's a simple course in terms of getting lost. Not gonna get lost on this one. Should be pretty simple in terms of that. The end's pretty tight, and then the like second part of the the ah, turn. It's a real, real tight one there. But um, between each turn, basically after this first long one, I'm gonna have to go first to second back down to first for almost each one we'll see i'm definitely gonna be on rev limiter a bunch today i am cold i'm like shaking nervous mm. man i got p-roll bad there's no porta potty out here dang it but uh yeah, it's gonna be a good day there isn't there's only like 21 drivers today for some reason normally we have close to 30 so they put us in the two run groups a and b you have victor here in the all track he's in b group so i can ride with him since it's, it's his first time but I'm A8, and I'm going to hand the camera off to him in the afternoon. Hopefully, he can get a couple clips of laps. I got the GoPro already set up on the, or the, the mount set up on the outside of the car already. So, I'll get one in here, one out there, one on the roof. Maybe I'll get one on the back, too. Get a couple of good clips for you guys. But, here we go. Should be a good day.
set my alignment up a lot different, so it's yeah. I need to. You like tweeting? Yeah. It's fun. I like when I'm a tweeting. It's fun. That scared the shit out of me. I never did that in my car before. <laughs> well, this is very interesting. I um, I thought Steven in the S2000 was gonna like just kill me. Let's see where we're at right now. Uh, go to best. So it's me and then a GTI and then a Subaru and then the Honda. So that's pretty crazy. I'm holding down first place right now. Um, and the first half of the day is pretty much done. There's two more cars left. Buddy, out here in the Hall Track, he's killing it. He's, he's really liking this. Hopefully, he'll come to the next event. The Hall Track moves out. Like, that thing is nasty fast. He's got to work on, on breaking points and shifting points, really. But for his first time, he's doing really well. And the wagon's kind of big, too. So, it's fun. A lot of fun. About to go to lunch here in a minute. But for now, I'm holding down fastest time of the day hopefully I'm not jinxing myself but my second lap and fourth lap I let off throttle going around that corner you'll as you saw in probably that clip there and uh, I got way sideways like way way sideways I need to borrow someone's jack when we get back uh, loosen up the dampening in the rear a little bit that should help and then I lowered the tire pressure a bunch I was sitting at like 32 to 33 and I bumped it down to 30 so that should help with a little bit more grip in the back but I just need to not let off the throttle when you let off the throttle it kind of disengages the real wheels so it, it's gonna kick that back end out and allow me to slide but the added uh, toe in the back toe out is definitely making the rear end kick and I really really like it I know uh, my shifts and down shifts are on point today I'm having to shift a second almost every little straight between the corners, so it makes it interesting. It's a lot of fun. Like, I'm banging gears. I'm just, I'm having a ball right now. It's a very, very good day. Okay, good. Hopefully you can hear me here. I'm two, well, technically three laps deep into the second round of the day. My third lap didn't come up on the timer and it was a really good lap. But my first lap of this part of the day, I dropped down from a 46.3 to a 45.029. I took like 1.3 seconds off my time on the first go with the passenger. I never do as well with the passenger in the car. Uh, then I went do my second one, which I also had the passenger, and I, I smacked the cone. I was coming a little too hot. Tires were, weren't having it, so I smacked the cone. That lap I just did was really good, but the timer didn't take it. So now I got two more laps to go, and uh, the car is pretty, pretty warm right now. Tires are pretty hot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat my time now. Uh, that last lap might have been it. Like I messed up at one point, so I don't know. But I got like a good lead right now. I got like a second and some lead uh, on everybody. I still have the second group to go and another lap in this uh, rotation. But I'm going to try and go past the camera off of somebody to get an outside view. Man, I am freaking pumped. I am driving this car today. The camber and these tires, I mean, these tires, I cannot tell you how good it feels to not be like under steer all over the place. Um, and that's, I, that could, I mean, I changed three different things, but you can tell that these tires grip a lot better than the Federals and they are over twice the price. So there's other, almost three times the price actually that Federals I think are, are like 400 shipped. And these, I think for my size are like 1150. So, but I got these used for cheaper. So I didn't pay that much for these, but they definitely freaking grip. And of course I did the end links, which took off a bunch of preload in the front, which was probably 
another reason I was understeering, and then I added another degree of camber. So, but the car feels phenomenal. I'm just like so pumped right now. Hopefully, maybe Chaos here will do a, a video for me. Thank you, Chaos, for taking the video. Um, that was not a very good run. I messed up at a few places. Like, I, my tires are hot. Now I'm about to pretty much hot lap it because they, because the timer didn't take my third actual lap. So this one's just going to go out for fun pretty much. But I feel pretty good. My heart is racing. Like, the car just feels so good. I am, I'm rubbing like, like a metal bracket for the bumper on the right side. So I'm going to, have to take that wheel off and hammer it later this week it's like touching the tire ever so slightly i guess when sometimes you can see like a baby groove in the tire but man i am happy this is this is great this is just what i've wanted all season the car to to be and feel i'm finally achieving that goal and there's only one more event after this one uh maybe maybe two if roswell throws one up on a date that i can make it but all right here we go Well guys, what an event. Uh, obviously, first in class, fastest time of the day, hell yeah. So the car is pretty much like, this is what I've been aiming for to get to all season. And I feel kind of dumb, because I should've did end links like when I did coilovers, like adjustable end links. I probably would've helped me in the long run, and I should've did, did slam the camber at that point too. Um, there you go, a word of advice. If you're gonna go put coilovers on, you're an autocross, or track day kind of guy go ahead and put that camber up as far as you can make sure you get some adjustable end links adjust some babies on the floor with weight on wheels uh get that preload out of there avoid that understeer and so like i said man i feel kind of dumb either way it was a great track setup for the car uh just the way everything handled um just i mean the tuning and all the the parts coming together between 034 and racing line and Tyrol Sport and Euro Sport and or Euro Code, all these different companies, all the Diesel Geek goodness and the RE71Rs kicking ass. Um, I still think Federals are the best bang for your buck, but if you really want the grip, RE71Rs are, are definitely a good tire. I'm loving them. Um, at the drag strip and that autocross doing phenomenal. Uh, like I said, we got another event in a couple weeks to be the final event of the year for the SCCA. And then I deploy like a couple weeks after that. Um, yeah, just great. Great, great, great day. Great drivers, great course. Uh, and the car's doing great. Shout out to Frank Mabo for the tuning. She's still doing phenomenal. Uh, I've had no no real issues at all. I had like a little bit of ethanol in the tank for that event. I had to boost up to like 29. So we're probably making a little, little over 440 wheel for that event. Um, what else I got? I think that's it. Just an awesome day. If you check out my Instagram, a buddy of mine that got that, that last clip you just watched. Um, he got a perfect picture of me with my front left tire off, lifting off the ground. 
as I'm powering through that corner, my left front off the pit. It is sick. I didn't think I was like I've seen plenty of pictures of people like breaking in the corner and get that that right rear or right left tire off the ground, but to get the front off the ground in a corner powering through, it's pretty dope. Um, yeah. I got a bunch of awards to hang on the wall still. I got like three of them sitting here and then these ones here. Man. Anyway, I'm excited. The race season's coming to an end, so there ain't too much going on for the next two weekends. Gonna go see the day to remember next weekend, the 19th, in uh, Lubbock, Texas. So I'm excited as fuck for that. I love a day to remember. They're one of my favorite bands, so. Anyway, I got a couple of DIY videos coming up for you next week. Not too much racing going on. Maybe we'll get some people out this weekend to do some street stuff since it's finally cooling off here. So, you know, fingers crossed I can get some people out. Anyway, that's all I got. Questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.